Well, this is a recording of my harp concerto, actually, brilliantly. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. And, you know, it's coming to Henry Wood Hall with the English Chamber Orchestra. Can't go wrong. The soloist is uh, Gabriele Dallolio, a very good friend of mine, whom I've known for uh, 15 years now. Now, as a composer, you need a flexible soloist to work with. And the material you write for the harp needs to be rephrased. And Gabriele Dallolio is very good to find that point, because there is a point you as the composer, she as the soloist, needs to meet up. And this is not changing the music. This is actually representing the music for the instrument, and this is a necessity for any composer like that if you want to write a harp concerto. Tardando, yeah. you must do decrescendo, therefore you must start a little bit louder. No, I can't, because that's the harp. So really? I'm, starting, I'm starting pianissimo and okay. I'm going down loud. Because that's the harp, this is not piano. Okay. You can't play louder here, okay. there's no way. Okay, no way. So you have to go the opposite. It is opposite here. Here. Uh huh. okay. No. Okay. Because actually I think that this, this needs a little bit more time. I was making it more flamboyant because I was thinking, well, this is a half concerto, it has to have a little wow factor somewhere. Uh, it shouldn't be that intimate all the time. Uh, but what he was doing was making it more idiomatic, so more Iranian. So I was idiomatic with it. And also what I changed a little bit in the half sometimes are dynamics that don't work with the instruments necessarily and that changed some of the cadenza's direction to work with the instrument. But I think the harmonies are very Oriental or Middle Eastern. Uh, the rhythms are certainly there is a, a pattern in the third movement in the left hand that reminds me very much of Aram Kachaturian. So obviously it draws a lot into folk music, into haunting melodies and part time in Iran. Iran's are fun loving people and party loving people and there is a lot of it, especially in the third movement. And I think a piece of music has two sets of parents. The mother is the composer, and the father is the interpreter, so he has to still nurture the piece. And it's been great to work with Amir because we constructively really worked in the music to make his intention come true. It is just ideas which pours in at the last minute, and I, I, I personally think that's okay. I mean, you know, as a composer, being stiff, you know, it, it's not helping you in the actual recording because you need to be able to make changes up until the very end because well, those might be some very brilliant ideas and there's also a moment where you should let the music fly away from you. You need to let it go. Well, the conductor is Maestro Alexander Rahbari uh, and he's Iranian originally. Not only he knows Western type of music, especially romantic music, I think. In my idea, I think he's, he's, he's a romantic conductor, he's good to romantic music. But also, he's, he's an Iranian, I studied Iranian music also, so he knows my Iranian influences, which there are a lot of in this harp concerto, because it's called a Persian reflection. And it was meant to be as it is. Now, normally I don't write now, I don't write that national music, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a national composer in that sense. But at the time, I really wanted to do a harp concerto which sounds Iranian. And uh, of course, this is mixed with uh, Western music, Western classical music, also some type of uh, uh, modern harmonies, even halfway through. Uh, and uh, it's very good to have him because he can see the Iranian influences and then he can get a grip on those. Today, we are recording a wonderful piece of very good Iranian composer, Tafri Shipur. First of all, he has a personality. He is writing totally differently than other concerto for harp or pieces for harp that I know. I'm sure he spent a lot of time to know the instrument and to know how to write for this instrument. And in the same time, he has culture, he has technique, he has ability. He knows what he's doing. And I think he writes also the music which in the future we need. 
and, uh, and harp is also a very beautiful instrument. The melodies that he wrote, normally they play, play uh, in oriental countries, they play with tar, setar, and this, and here is doing with higher class, doing with harp, very beautifully. And I'm very glad to do this music. Concentrate until here. Okay. Yeah, I still, this is still uh, a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. bar you have it all right that um, I would like one more piece. originally this piece was commissioned by BBC Symphony Orchestra in 2005 this was after I traveled to Iran to see the carvings in West Iran of the ancient harp called Chang from the Sassanid era now from the Sassanid era those carving makes me gave me the idea of Right, a harp concerto actually, but I wasn't thinking about it until I came back to England and originally the harpist who came to Iran was uh, Charlotte Williams, a brilliant harpist. Now she came and gave a recital, a fantastic recital in Tehran. But then when we came back to England, son of all, I, I was approached by, by the BBC Symphony Orchestra manager and she came up to me and said, Amy, do you want to write a harp concerto? And I said, why not? I want to write a harp concerto. And it all started. So writing a harp concerto was not the easiest thing to do. The, 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 the differences between the 
Iranian music and the Western music is, of course, the, the scales, of course, are now, and also some influences of the quarter tones, which I'm not using up, but in some sort of a effect, I'm, I'm mixing few notes, and, and it's not the quarter tones itself, it's the spice of it. And, uh, well, you know, generally I see music as music. I don't want to, you know, separate music from Western music or Eastern music. I just enjoy writing music. Concertmeister, look here. Oh, it has another A. Yeah. 